mobile devices play a huge role in a growing portion of retail sales, which means if your business doesn't cater to the mobile shopper, then you're missing out on an enormous segment of your market. Now, according to Statista.com, over 63.5% of e-commerce sales made in 2018 were done on a mobile device. They also predict that in just three years, by 2021, that number will be all the way up to 72.9%. There's no denying it. Consumers have integrated their smartphones into every aspect of their shopping experience. From researching potential products, to comparing prices at different online stores, to completing the purchase. Consumers are using their computers less and their smartphones more. This means you'll want to begin by evaluating your online business from a mobile shopper's perspective. So how can you take your business to the next level and join the ranks of savvy business owners who have seized the opportunity to increase exposure and sales through mobile-friendly e-commerce platforms? This video will show you how. We'll discuss the different ways you can get your business off the ground quickly and easily by ensuring that it's mobile-friendly. We'll also take a closer look at the top e-commerce platforms online so that you can build a strong foundation for your business. This will enable you to reach a broader audience by catering to the ever-growing number of mobile shoppers. So, let's get started. These days, it's all about smartphones. From big retailers like J. Crew and Macy's to small business owners to aspiring entrepreneurs, it's become clear that one of the easiest ways to boost sales and maximize profits is to make sure that your e-commerce website is mobile friendly and that you cater to on-the-go shoppers. To create a high converting, mobile optimized shop, you need to focus on everything from the shop design, navigation system, right down to a streamlined checkout that's easy to transition through. Take a look at what you should pay most attention to when building a mobile-friendly e-commerce website. A mobile shopper's experience is quite different from those browsing websites on a desktop or a laptop, where they may have multiple tabs or windows open. This means you must pay close attention to your home page and make sure that it's easy for mobile users to navigate the different sections of your website, while also being able to quickly access their shopping cart or return to the main page at any time. Second, you need to personalize the site search. The more you can personalize a shopper's experience, the more likely they are to purchase from your website. So, whenever possible, provide recommendations for products that are similar to the ones that they previously purchased. And if you're able to, provide keyword suggestions based on a user's purchase history in order to point them in the right direction. Third, you need a clear navigation system. You also want to make sure that mobile users can quickly browse the different sections of your website, regardless of what page they're on. One of the easiest ways to single item as well as multiple products and finally see whether your product images zoom correctly and that description pages are clear and easy to understand if you're just starting to build your e-commerce website here are a few highly rated e-commerce platforms to help get your business off the ground Shopify for just nine dollars a month you can create a fully functional e-commerce website for both physical and digital products Shopify is a simple e-commerce store builder that takes all the guesswork out of selling products online. With Shopify, there's very little learning curve involved as the interface is intuitive and very easy to navigate through as you work towards building your website. Yocart. Yocart was designed to be primarily used by startup businesses. 
It features rich e-commerce options, including the ability to create a marketplace-style website similar to Amazon or Etsy. WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a free WordPress plugin that turns a regular blog into a dynamic e-commerce website. It provides a secure payment gateway and a powerful shopping cart that's easy to configure and customize. Magento. Magento is an open source e-commerce platform that is one of the most popular online. Even companies like Burger King and Pepe Jeans have created their websites on Magento. However, while Magento is a powerful platform, be prepared to invest in hiring a programmer if you yourself aren't experienced in design or coding. Xcart. Xcart is one of the fastest open source platforms online and offers a wide range of features. It's a self-hosted platform, so you'll need to install and configure it on your own hosting account. Xcart is absolutely free and is open source. Now, if you sell fashion, you'll want to check out Poshmark.com, a popular e-commerce platform for selling clothing, fashion accessories, and more. If you want to sell pre-owned items from a thrift store or garage sale or from your own home, check out Depop.com. Depop is a free smartphone app that makes it easy to list items for sale, even if you don't have your own website. You get paid via PayPal whenever an item is sold. LetGo is a free person-to-person -person mobile classified marketplace where you can sell everything from electronics to clothing. Another similar e-commerce platform that allows you to sell your own products is available at Listia.com. If you're just starting to build your e-commerce website, one of the easiest ways to get started is by creating a Shopify account and creating your e-commerce store on their platform. Shopify is very flexible, allowing you to sell both physical and digital items. And best of all, you don't need experience in design, coding, or development to build a mobile-friendly, fully functional e-commerce website. Now let's go through the steps of setting up an e-commerce website using Shopify. Step 1. Create a Shopify account. Shopify offers a free 14-day trial without any need for a credit card. To start, head over to the Shopify website at shopify.com and create your account. You'll need to enter an email address, password, and choose a name for your storefront. You'll also be asked a bit more information about your business, including how much you plan to sell and if you're already selling products. If you aren't sure what you're going to sell or what your current revenue is, just choose I'm just getting started. Step 2. Customize the look of your website. This is where you'll want to spend some time so that you can create a website that truly stands out and reflects your brand. Consider hiring a graphic designer to create a logo that defines the type of products that you plan to sell. You'll also want to choose a theme and thankfully, Shopify provides hundreds of free themes that you can use as well as premium ones that offer a bit more functionality. You can browse the theme store at themes.shopify.com. When looking for a theme that fits your website, you can filter through premium themes or free ones, as well as based on industry, popularity, recently added, and even by features. Once you've selected a theme, return to your admin panel and select themes on your navigation menu. This will allow you to preview your theme live as well as customize settings and overall appearance. Now just because it's a free theme used by others doesn't mean you can't make it unique. Click on Customize Theme to play around with the available options and test out different features to see what the theme is capable of and how you can make it your own. This typically includes adding your own logo, uploading images into a product display carousel, modifying the color scheme and utilizing different font styles to highlight product titles and descriptions. You can also choose whether you wish to feature social media buttons such as Twitter, Pinterest or Instagram. Step 3. You need to choose a product to sell. Now if you already have your own products, then you can skip this step. However, if you're looking for products that are in demand, you need to check out the Oberlo Marketplace at shopify.com backslash Oberlo. Oberlo can quickly help you find and add products directly to your Shopify store, meaning you can get up and running in a couple of hours. Now whenever you find products, you'll never have to worry about inventory or shipping because Oberlo does all that for you on a drop shipping basis. If you have your own products, you'll be able to quickly add them to your shop just by going through the Add Product step-by-step -step guide. Enter in the product name, description, and price. You'll be able to edit your product pages at any time, should you wish to revise the description or adjust the price. 
One thing to keep in mind when adding products to your Shopify store is to use keywords whenever possible in order to boost SEO. This includes product names, descriptions, and page URLs. Include as much information as possible to inform the consumers about the products that are available to them. You also want to pay close attention to the product images that you use. Include high quality images that truly highlight your products in the best possible way. Include any special features or unique factors that could persuade a customer into buying your product. Step four, group your products into collections. To provide better navigation and to help connect customers with various products, consider creating a collection of products based on common features. For example, if you're selling clothing, you'll want to create a collection or group based on size, colors, or items on sale. Collections will help customers find what they're looking for quickly without having to browse through your entire inventory. Step five, register a domain name. You'll want to set up your own domain after you set up your Shopify store so that you can direct your domain to your Shopify URL. Having your own domain is important because it helps build a recognized brand and makes it easier for consumers to remember where to find your storefront. However, you should be careful which registrar you choose so that you don't run into any troubles with your domain after you set up your storefront. You can see a list of trustworthy ICANN accredited registrars at renames.org which you can use to register your domain. Once you've registered your domain, return to your Shopify dashboard, click on settings, and add it to your account using the add an existing domain button. Don't forget to update your DNS with your domain registrar so that it directs people to your Shopify website. You can contact your domain registrar support team if you aren't sure how to set this up. Step six, choose your payment processor. From within your Shopify account, Click on the tab to the left of the dashboard called Payments. This area allows you to choose from dozens of different payment processors such as PayPal or Stripe or Authorize.net. Shopify also has its own payment processor, which is super easy to use should you wish to give it a try. Simply walk through the steps to activate your payment processor so that your website can begin accepting payments. That's it. You can tweak your website as needed, continue to play around with themes, and customize your website however you see fit. One of the great things about Shopify is that you no longer need to migrate your entire website in order to take advantage of Shopify's features and security. With the JavaScript by SDK, you can easily add e-commerce functionality to your website while still being able to host your storefront on your own server. If you plan to sell digital products on Shopify, check out Send Owl. Send Owl is a third-party application designed to protect content and deliver digital goods immediately after payment verification. Visit apps.shopify.com backslash send owl for details. I hope this guide has given you the information that you need to zero in on the mobile shopping market in order to maximize sales and build a business based on long-term success. Start off by making sure any existing websites that you own are mobile friendly. Preview them on any mobile device just to make sure that they expand and contract based on the size of the screen. Then look for ways to improve engagement by developing an intuitive, user-friendly e-commerce website that appeals to the mobile user. Use clear navigation to direct and guide them through your website. Simplify the checkout process, keeping in mind that people don't want to spend as much time filling out forms on a mobile device as they may on a computer. And finally, expand your outreach by getting ahead of the curve and setting yourself up for ongoing success as the mobile shopper market continues to grow. If you're looking for additional e-commerce platforms, as well as a complete insider's guide to building a successful e-commerce store, you'll definitely want to check out the courses below. They will walk you through everything you need to know to launch your very own successful e-commerce store.